guys, it's Shadura Studios, and today I'm going to be doing another work video. Mwah! So right now I'm basically just filling up some water buckets because it's that time of the day. And before I go home, basically every day I, I do the hay and the water. It's been a pretty regular day here. There's nothing really that happened that was too exciting. Um, you know, they gave the donkeys a bath so we can go check on them. And last night we got in two more horses from Belmont, but they're going to be staying here for a little bit. I think one of them is, um, or both of them were just, they just need a little time off from the track. And I know I recently got a question on one of my videos, like what do you think of racing and the track in general? And I don't really know what I think about it. I guess I'm not a huge supporter just because I think that there's a lot of like there's a lot of drugs and like bad treatment of horses which I definitely do not support. But at the same time, like one of my coworkers explained it to me is it's like a horse has an instrument. So like if a person has an instrument, if they like playing the flute, then it's almost like not letting them play their instrument. So that kind of like opened my eyes, I guess, that to the fact that some horses really like to run. And like, if you were to not let them run and race, like that they would like almost be missing a part of themselves. But at the same time, I know that like racing and, and everything, like it's totally human construct and that horses wouldn't be, really, I mean, I guess they probably would be racing each other, but not in the way that we do it. And also like, I feel that when they do races on days where it's like super hot, it's like really cool to the horses. And I think that they need to be more cautious about like how they're doing it and like the steroids and everything I think is really wrong. So yeah, that's my two cents on the racing world, I guess. So once I'm done with the water buckets, I will show you guys the new horses. I also have to check to make sure that they eat their food and everything. Um, yeah. So today is August 16th and I do not know exactly how much longer I'm going to be working because um, after I take the SAT, I think I'll have a little bit more time because if you guys didn't know, I've been taking an SAT course and it's a lot of homework and like I have, a, I have six hours of class, uh, like virtual class, but then I would say there's like a lot more homework that I have to do daily. So it adds up and then I have a lot of other things that I'm doing. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to have a lot of time to do work once school starts. So like I said rather um, recently in my last video that my school is going to be starting virtually. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm coiling the hose around you guys. Um, yeah, so we're, we were planning on starting on August 29th and then they pushed the date to September 4th and then they pushed that date to September 8th for virtual. And they think that they may be able to open for day students on October 8th. And so what I mean by day students is that my school is a boarding school. And um, I'm a day student at the boarding school, obviously. But they wouldn't allow any international students or like boarding students to come on campus just because they had some testing machine, but I guess it got taken by the government because they need it to test stuff, so to test people like school so also you guys probably remember Vicky from some of my last videos her name is Lady Vicky she's super pretty she might be leaving soon though um just because the owners aren't probably aren't gonna leave her here but she's really good friends with Sunshine over there hi sunny girl hey Sunshine she's very absorbed with looking outside but maybe I'll still come over hey girl she was really bad um walking in a few days ago she was really crazy but She's usually a very good girl. So this is one of the horses that just came in. Her name is Spanish Dancer. She's really sweet. How lovely. <laughs> She's like, wow. And I just need to make sure she ate her food. And it looks like she did. Good girl, you're adjusting. Good girl. She's also like really big, I feel like. And she's super shiny and beautiful. How are you? Oh, thank you for your butt. Thank you. We'll come around and see her from this way since she's not coming from there. She's like, whoa, <laughs> where's a person there? What do I do? Hi, sweets. She's interested in me. She's like, go oh, away. So I guess what my school is proposing for the schedule when we start virtually, it's going to be online classes. 
uh, but it's gonna be like Zoom all day, so it's gonna start at like 9.30, I think, and end at 2.30, and then they're gonna have breaks in between, which, like, I get that we're supposed to have breaks and everything, but I think it's really annoying, and I wish that they would just condense it down into, like, how many hours of school it is, all into, like, one part so that we can have more time in our day to do what we want, so that I'm not, like, constantly just, like, sitting around waiting for our next class, so I guess that's pretty annoying, and it's going to be four days a week, so... I'm gonna have Wednesdays like kind of off like I guess on Wednesdays you meet with you have like a class meeting and then you do like clubs and stuff so I guess it's like kind of you're gonna be doing some sort of school stuff but it's mainly gonna be off hi girls so these three girls bridal dancer Alta Bell my favorite baby in the world and little miss brown are all leaving on Tuesday so that's two days from now and I'm going to miss her so much she's like my favorite child ever and i know someone said like you should wait until she becomes retired and you may be able to buy her <laughs> like literally she's just so sweet i would love to have her as a horse but like at the same time i don't really know if i really want a thoroughbred just because i want to jump and everything i mean i know there are thoroughbreds that jump and everything but i think it'd be easier to get a, a horse that is already trained to jump what do you want royal you have hay i already gave you hay and water what so Willie and Alara just got a bath. They are doing well. They're very clean, aren't you guys? Yes, yes, yes. You just got cleaned. And I'm pretty sure I saw them rolling on the ground because that's what animals do when they're clean. They literally just roll to get dirty again. And I think one of the goats, Elise, had a little bit of a bacterial infection or some sort of infection, but she's all better now, so that's really good. So let's go down and we can see the new horses that I don't think you guys have met. Excuse me, why are there pigeons here? Also, they neutered the cat, uh, um, Palooza. I don't think I've showed you guys Palooza on the video just because he's always like running around. But he was kind of being mean to Sissy and Sassy, so they decided to neuter him to keep him. But like before that, they asked, like, does anyone know whose cat this is? Because it's not their cat, but like it ended up here, so. He's just gonna stay here, I guess, now, because they neutered him. Okay, so here's Valerian. He's just chilling down there, but he's not new. <laughs> he's been here. Um, but this is one of the new guys. He's so pretty. His name is War of Thrones. I'm um, like Game of Thrones, but not Game of Thrones. He's also really big. He's really handsome. Come here, bud. He's like, oh, leave me alone. And then there's also Airmail. He's really handsome too. Hey, bud. He's like, I'm busy looking out the window. What do you want? Hey. Want to say hi to everybody? Hello. Hello. Huh. Hello. And it looks like he ate his food as well. So all these guys are being such good boys. Because you're being such good boys. Eating all your food and being so good. Well, most of the time. Except we were bringing in Valerian today and he was like absolutely insane. He like was rearing and then he like turned and like kicked out both his legs at the same time. I was like, whoa. And this is the horse that might get surgery. So we've been wrapping his legs every day. And he's really sweet though, most of the time. He can be a little strong, but he's mostly good. Aren't you mostly good? Are you mostly good? Don't bite me. He's like, <laughs> don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Thank you, buddy. So when I'm not working, I'm basically, like I said, doing SAT, and then I'm also writing stuff for college because I'm applying really soon. So I have to fill out all my applications, and luckily only six of the like 13 schools that I'm applying to, I think, have college supplements, which are basically additional essays that you have to write in addition to the essay that you have to write for the common application. And this year, they're also like giving you a 250 word section where you can explain how covid has impacted you and i'm not sure i can really write that all in 250 words so that's kind of interesting but in my um common app essay i actually do talk about my schleich account and like starting my model horse hobby so i think that's really interesting i might read it to you guys sometime if you want i think it's pretty good no i'm kidding i, I worked pretty hard on it though but I'm more stressed about like the SATs and everything. That's kind of really stressing me out. And then also my 3D printer is being a pain in the butt. I'm still gonna keep it, I think. I was thinking of returning it and getting a Cricut, 
but I think I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try and figure it out because I don't wanna give up and I'm not the type of person that gives up. The only problem is I'm having trouble with like the printer, like with the print sticking to the bed and I looked up how to fix it and I think I could fix it. I just need to like have the time to be able to fix it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy these work videos. Someone requested this one. So I was like, yeah, I'll just do one more. So why not? I'm really gonna miss Alto Bell and like all the horses and fillies that are leaving, but apparently we're gonna be getting some more mares to So that's pretty exciting. So yes, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Etsy where I have tons of stuff for sale. And don't forget to check out my Instagram where I post every day. Go check it out. Okay. Bye. Stay sweet. Mwah.